Okay, good evening and welcome everyone to tonight's very special event featuring world-class athletes along with Olympic gold medalists who are here to share how what some are referring to as the greatest scientific achievement of the 21st century in the health science arena, as well as athletic performance and recovery. And these athletes are here to share how redox signaling molecules are impacting their overall uh, performance and recovery. Uh, my name is Gina Moran, and I could not be more delighted and honored and humbled to be among such amazing um, elite athletes tonight. So uh, we're going to start off um, with just uh, sharing a couple of things, but I want I want to really uh, just extend my sincere thanks and gratitude uh, to Mr. Sean Burke, who had the inspiration and desire to put this event together. So um, thank you so much, Sean. Thanks to you. Uh, we're all here together. And I think um, everyone is just going to really enjoy uh, having this group of elite athletes together to share tonight. So I want to start off by just talking a little bit about um, a, a, a study that was done years ago by Dr. Neiman, who really is our country's number one guru. He runs the Human Performance Laboratory in North Carolina. And when he took a group of athletes and, and tested them for about two and a half weeks on these ASEA's redox signaling molecules, what he found was simply unheard of. In fact, he was so impressed that he called our world headquarters to talk about this uh, and really wanted our founders to come down to meet him in person. He said himself, it was too big to talk about over the phone. Now, what he discovered is that there was a major shift in metabolites. And he said he had never seen this before, not even in combinations of products. Now, what that really means is that uh, we're really burning fat 30 minutes from ingestion with these molecules, the first minute that we move with exercise, rather than waiting 30 to 40 minutes to get into uh, you know, an aerobic exercise where we're now burning fat. So what this allows um, athletes to do is to literally burn fat, which is a cleaner, leaner fuel, allowing them to go further, faster, and longer without building up lactic acid, which is really what causes them to become sore. And uh, also there was, he conducted a second study involving mice. I just wanted to talk about the mice for a minute because the researchers also found that mice consuming ASEA experienced a 29% increase in endurance. And finally, the study demonstrated that ASEA causes a 33% decrease in muscle glycogen depletion in mice, which is likely the cause of the dramatic increase in endurance. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't think mice run faster for anything. So these little guys really put it to the test just as well as our uh, amazing athletes here. But I also wanna take you back to one other fact in an independent laboratory trial, after only two weeks on ASEA supplementation, the athletes experienced a large increase in their ventilatory threshold, which is the time it takes to hit the runner's wall, increasing their running distance before encountering their ventilatory threshold by an average of more than 12%, guys. And in fact, some athletes increased their power output and endurance over 30%. So, these athletes probably didn't need to hear those studies because they were the studies themselves. They put it to work more than any human being that we know of on earth. And boy, did they put these molecules to the test. So before we get started, I just wanna make sure that everyone understands that these statements that you're about to hear today have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration and that this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started by asking each athlete to just introduce themselves by stating their name, uh, their sport, and uh, how long have you been taking ASEA? So we're gonna kick it off with Mr. Sean Burke. My name is Sean Burke. I'm 61 years old and my sport is triathlons, sprint and Olympic distance is my specialty. Um, I have won 60 of my last 64 races and I've been taking ASEA for 10 years. Dexter. Oh, <laughs> couldn't get it unmuted. Uh, my name is Dexter Yates. I'm 75 years old. I am an Ironman athlete. In uh, 2018, I traveled to the World Championship Half Ironman race in South Africa, 
and I won my age group becoming a world champion athlete. Uh, I have been taking ASEA since 2015. Hi everyone, my name is Bria Larson. I am 28 years old. I'm an Olympic US gold medal swimmer and I've been taking ASEA since 2009. So that is 12 years now, getting up there. Hello, my name is Michael DiDonato. I'm 49 years old. I've been taking ASEA since 2016. My sports are, uh, I've competed in half Ironmans, half marathons, uh, Olympic distance triathlons. Uh, the thing with my sport is I do it with my partner, my buddy Kyle Broder. I push and pull him in a special wheelchair that we built for him. Hello everyone, my name is Miles Marshall. I'm a 23 year old. Uh, my sport's track and field. I'm 2014 youth champion, uh, youth Olympic champion, as well as a 2014 uh, world junior member. I've been using ASEA for about one year now. Hey everybody, I'm Jesse Coleman. I am 24 years old. I'm a former division one athlete where I played ice hockey. Um, I am currently a CrossFit athlete now and I was a strength and conditioning All-American in 2019. I've been on ASEA since 2019. Hi everybody, my name is Cody Miller. I'm 29 years old. I'm an Olympic gold medalist and bronze medalist in swimming. I'm teammates with Bria. Um, and I started taking ASEA in 2012. Hi everyone, my name is Kendra Chambers. I'm 30 years old. I run track and field in the 800 and 400 meters for Team USA and Lazelle. I represented Team USA on three different world teams and I'm the semifinalist in the 2016 Olympic trials. I've been using ASEA since 2016. All right, and Billy Richards. Uh, my name is uh, Billy Richards. I'm 39 years old. Um, I'm noted for being an ultra runner, but I do a little bit of everything. I've done everything from uh, CrossFit to uh, powerlifting to Spartan races to ultra marathons. Um, I'm most noted for um, in 2019, I finished uh, 37 100 mile races in. Uh, in a 12 month time frame, And um, I've been taking ACA for roughly two years. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a round of questions. And our first question tonight is how has ASEA redox signaling molecules impacted your overall performance and recovery as an athlete? And we're gonna kick this one off uh, with Ms. Dexter Yates. Did we lose Dexter? <laughs> All right, we'll we'll uh, give her a minute to come back. Billy, how about if you uh, kick that off for us? How has the CIA redox signaling molecules impacted your overall performance and recovery as an athlete? Well, I find it's um, it's helped me recover faster, and it's uh, it's also helped me train with a little bit greater intensity. Wonderful. And how about Michael Dodonato? Yes. So um, with the ASEA, since I've been taking the ASEA, um, my, my recovery definitely um, has improved. And uh, the way I train, I do high interval trainings. So I'll go hard uh, in, in different bursts and then, and then recover. Uh, and my recovery has I've been, my time for recovery has reduced significantly since I've been taking the ASEA. So, uh, and, and that goes as well in races. So there's times in our races when I wanna get ahead a little bit more um, so I can give it a little more uh, burst. And then when I ease back on it, my recovery time, especially with my cardio um, is improved quite a bit with the ASEA. Great, great. Okay, so I will come back to Dexter. So uh, guys, what differences did you notice in the first few months and or hey, years yeah. actually? Hey, Dexter's here. 
Oh, okay, she's here. Wonderful. <laughs> we do not want to miss her. <laughs> Sorry, my computer froze. We were panicking, but uh, <laughs> um, okay. I the question is that I don't know where we are because I froze. It's okay. So we we were asking how has ASEA impacted your overall performance and recovery as an athlete. Okay, recovery has been amazing for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I, being an Ironman athlete, need to work out um, five or six days a week and uh, getting up the next day after riding 100 miles was a challenge for me. Uh, being on a SIA, I can get up the next day and I'm ready to go to the pool and do a 4,000 yard swim and go for a run and do whatever needs to be done on that following day. Before, I used to have to take a day or two off after every workout and the recovery has been just astonishing for me. Fantastic, fantastic, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna to go to question two. So what differences did you notice in the first few months and or years, you know, maybe short and long-term improvements in all areas of health and athletic performance? And we're gonna start off with uh, Mr. Sean Burke. We're playing musical chairs because <laughs> downstairs. So. so. On um, the first month on ASEA, the first six weeks on ASEA, I would start off where I can only train five hours a day. After taking ASEA for a month, I started going up to 22 hours a day. And then I took ASEA six weeks before my first Ironman. And I took 58 minutes off my time as my first Ironman. And then since being on ASEA in the last 10 years, I have raced 64 races, one, 160 of those races. And I have set multiple age group course records probably looking at coming up on 20 of those course records. And um, that was when I was 51, I'm gonna be 60. So now that we have gonna be able to race next year, I'm really looking forward to racing at 60 years old. Are you aging up, Sean? I'm aging up. <laughs> Watch out world, new guy in town. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, you know, as an athlete, you know, you love to perform and I'm sure it's sometimes that it's hard to improve on what you do, but uh, it seems like you, you've achieved your limit and you're consistently over overachieving it. So even though you're getting older, uh, you're getting better. This is unbelievable. So uh, let's see, we're gonna go to Kendra next. Um, sure, so my event, I am um, a sprinter at heart, but I run the middle distance. So I train under and I train over. So some days I'm using blocks, I need to be fast, I have to do 30 meter flies, and other days I'm going for six mile runs. So my training is very diverse and it, my body asks for a lot. Um, so the first, I would say the first year, I noticed that I was a lot more hydrated. I just felt like I was overall healthier, but I really saw a big, benefit, you know, I would say about two years in when I started to notice that my endurance increased dramatically. Um, there was a point when I first started training and I couldn't even, you know, do a, a two mile jog with the, with the training partners that I had. And now I'm able to handle that jog at a much faster pace. And I actually do it with the two guys that I train with. Um, so it's just been a dramatic increase in my endurance. Um, and I am just completely astonished at how amazing my endurance has gone up. But also, I just honestly, I feel better. I feel healthier. I feel like I get up in the morning and I'm able to go to 6 a.m. weights without feeling like groggy from the, the, the workout before. And so really the long-term benefits for me are just more endurance. I can hang with the guys, but I can also recover so quickly in between sets and intervals on the track. Yes. <laughs> and Jesse. Um, actually very similar to Kendra. I would say I do CrossFit, so I have to be good at pretty much everything um, from sprinting to long distance to swimming to like, you have no idea what's going to show up um, at some of these competitions. So obviously one of the first things I noticed um, because I was still taking the product when I was a college athlete, um, it's really demanding schedule because you are a full-time student, full-time athlete, and it's really hard to make sure that you're eating all these calories. Um, and I would always struggle to eat enough. And it was one way to like quickly get some type of fuel in me and I was able to recover so much better and handle those practices where we just skated like crazy. Um, and then 
coming out of hockey and transitioning into CrossFit, ASEA made me feel so much healthier and just overall, like, like Kendra said, I just felt so much healthier and just better overall. Um, I noticed so many improvements in a lot of different things. Fantastic. So, hey guys, what would you say to other athletes who are considering ASEA? I'm first. Um, so I know that it's really difficult as an athlete, especially when you start getting more attention, everybody comes at you with their product. And even though as a sponsored athlete with a C and they know that I still constantly get pushed product at me. And it really only takes me a couple of seconds to look at the ingredient list, not be able to pronounce half of the words and then not really trust it. But when you look at ASEA, it's really only a couple of ingredients on there and you know exactly what they are. And the fact that it's a clean supplement is very, very um, assuring. So Cody and I, um, and I think Dexter was there as well, we toured the ASEA facility and it shows you that's the only product they make. And that's another really big concern for athletes and not that a certain, um, not that a certain supplement isn't clean, but you have to know what kind of supplement went through the factory before and whether it, or not it'll be traced with that. So the ASEA um, company like headquarters, they only make ASEA. They don't make any other products. So there's no possible chance for cross-contamination. And that was a huge deal as an athlete who constantly gets tested. But I would say it doesn't hurt your chances to just try it. You know, we, we all feel great while we're on it. It's a clean supplement. And I would, I would definitely recommend it to any athlete who asks. Absolutely. And that's, you know, one of the highlights we love. It's the only product and we own the Redox space. So <laughs> we are a category creator. So Billy, what would you say um, to other athletes taking a look at ASEA? I would definitely recommend taking it. It's, um, you know, it's helped me out with my recovery. It's made me feel a lot better. Um, I felt I felt a lot of the health benefits and everything. And, um, you know, it helps uh, keep me going through my workouts. So, you know, it's um, it's been really good for me. I really, I really like taking it. Great, Michael. Yeah. So as an athlete, I'm I'm very ritualistic um, and very hesitant about adding things into my routine that has worked uh, for many many years. Um, so. Uh, I highly recommend trying it. It won't hurt you. In my, what it's done for me is it's only enhanced my very rigid, ritualistic uh, activities that I do, uh, the way I eat, everything, how much water I take in, when I train. Um, it's just absolutely enhanced it. So, um, and like Bria said, it's, it's not gonna hurt you. It's a super clean supplement. And um, I tell other athletes, give it a shot. You have zero to lose and most likely you're gonna end up gaining from it like I have. Absolutely. And you, did you guys know there was 450 toxicity studies done on ASEA? Absolutely non-toxic. So yeah, you couldn't be more right on when you say it's clean. So uh, let's go into talking about, you know, how much you guys really use, okay, and how you use it. Well, maybe not how much, but how you use it on a daily basis, not just the liquid, but the Renew gel as well. Um, you know, how, how do you consume the ASEA and then how do you use the gel, Dexter? Um, well, every single morning, the first thing I do after I get my feet on the floor is to go to the refrigerator and grab a pouch of ASEA. Um, that starts every morning for me. Um, I also drink more ASEA before a hard workout and after a challenging workout. Um, then in, I usually end the evening with some more ASEA. I um, really count on it so that I'll be able to do the workouts I have scheduled for the following day. Um, after my um, shower, after a workout, uh, Renew 28 is the, my muscle's best friend. Uh, it is so soothing and I believe it helps a lot with the recovery. 
Um, along with that, um, I am an older female and somewhat concerned about my look. So um, the, uh, the face products, I use those as well as I take the vitamins. So um, I am just a complete believer and uh, taking my ASEA on just a regular basis is extremely important for my abilities. Wonderful. Um, I also take all of the products, but I always start my day with um, drinking a full pouch. Um, and then I have it before my workouts. I have it sometimes during a long session. If I have like a long row or something or a long run, um, always after and then before bed as well. Um, I put the gel on multiple times a day. Um, especially before workouts, because especially if something's kind of bothering me, um, I like to have the comfort of having that gel with me in my gym bag. And then especially with the face products, I use those twice a day. And then I always take my vitamins before bed. Yeah, it seems like a common theme. Um, in the morning, you take a SIA. That's how we do it. But <laughs> I would have to say the same thing. I absolutely love using a SIA during a workout. So if we're on the track and we have three to five minutes rest in between a set, I am just pounding a SIA because I know it's going to help me get <laughs> ready for the next hard interval. Um, so that's definitely happening during the workout. And then, of course, um, after the workout, I'm, I'm refueling, rehydrating with that as well. And the gel is just like my best friend. Um, I have, you know, achy feet. I wear it to like four to five shoes every day almost. So if I have spikes, if I have my long runs, if I have this, there's just so many different shoes. So I put the gel on my feet a lot and my knee as well. So I definitely use that. I don't know, maybe four to five times a day. And it's just an amazing product that I absolutely love. Um, but again, and then as soon as I go to bed, it's just like, that's the last thing I'm, I'm doing is taking another drink of the SIA. So it's an amazing product. Excellent. Excellent. So uh, tell us, guys, why, why do you have no fear in being tested when you're drinking a SIA? So first thing is the pouches can't be tampered with. Um, that was a really big thing for me. I believe the pouches came out in maybe 2011 or 12, maybe 2012. Because um, I've, I've started with the company almost right when they started. And it's really, really nice to be able to put a certain amount of pouches in your bag before you go and know that if you have to walk away from the product, you have more to go. So a lot of the time at big competitions, especially international ones, if you leave a water bottle um, on on chaperone per se, you don't walk back to it. Um, the, the dangers of your supplements or your water bottle leave being tainted can make athletes really nervous. So having the pouches is very, very handy. Um, and just kind of adds a little bit more secure knowledge to you knowing that you can have your product and it's safe and it hasn't been tampered with. Um, and I believe after being tested randomly, maybe two to three times a month for the last 10 years or so, and never having a negative test, I think shows a lot to me that the, <laughs> the product that I take is clean. Yeah, I, uh, we can't really overstate how important taking supplements that are clean is to us. I mean, we get tested, God, I've been getting tested so many times for the last decade. And it happens, it can happen absolutely anytime. Like people don't understand. We have to update our whereabouts and give USADA and WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, a schedule of where we are basically at all times. So we can get tested at any time. I mean, like two weeks after the last Olympics, my wife and I were in Florida in our Toy Story Disney World hotel room suite. And we got there the first night and the next morning, 6 a.m., someone knocked on my door and I'm like, what is going on right now? And I opened the door and it was a drug tester from WADA to come and drug test me. And I was like, this is insane. And I, I could tell you multiple stories like that where we just get tested at crazy random times. Just yesterday morning, I got to the pool at 5.30 a.m. And a drug tester rolled into the pool at about 5.45, like three minutes before I was going to dive in the water. And the only thing that I'd had yesterday morning before swimming was a SIA. I had some of my pouch and that was it. And there's no fear at all that we're going to have any kind of problems in terms of 
what our results are on all those drug tests, because as Bria already very clearly stated, we know what goes into the product. We've been to the facility. It's the only thing that they manufacture. We know that it's safe. We know that it's clean. You can pronounce all of the ingredients on the label. So um, I've never taken a product that I don't trust. And that's why I continue to take a see it to this day. Oh, I'm going to add really quick. So yep. we get to know our drug testers pretty well because we see them so often. Um, and it's gotten to the point where my drug tester, her name is Amy, she's great. Um, she just, before you even start filling out the forms, you have to claim any type of supplement that you've had. So I'm like vitamin C, ASEA, I had ibuprofen yesterday. Um, and right before we even start, she goes, ASEA? Yes, I'm taking ASEA. And she'll write it down on the claims form. <laughs> Yeah, I would also add that, you know, the doping industries are notoriously um, perhaps picky about what they find and what they want to um, uh, claim that was in your body. And you're, at the end of the day, the athletes were responsible for anything that you put in your body. It doesn't matter whether intentionally or not, um, you know, athletes have gotten, had eaten beef at a restaurant and that, you know, causes an issue with drug tests. And so for me, looking at the ingredients, be able to pronounce them all, be able to understand um, the care that's going into the supplement is really important to me, as well as frankly, hearing that testimony from um, Cody and Bria. Uh, that's my first time hearing about these stories um, regarding their experience with it, and they've never failed a drug test. So that gives me more confidence moving forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, okay, we're going to get into some meat and potatoes here. I, I want to know, you know, uh, why is a SIA different from any other sport drinks that you guys consume really when it comes to performance and recovery because we all know there's a bazillion of them out there right there's all kinds of things that you could be taking so what sets a SIA apart what is so different about it miles you want to you want to yeah i can go um so i would say so as a um middle distance athlete i kind of experienced both the endurance side as well as the kind of sprint aspect of training and especially living in Texas where I live now, like we sweat a lot. And so there is a place for these recovery drinks that we kind of replace the sugars and the potassium and the salts that you put in your body. Um, however, I, what I see with ASEA is that it's not really focused on um, hydration that a lot of these recovery drinks are focused on. This is focused on recovery. This is focused on um, the, you know, the summit water is focused on recovery for your muscles at a, you know, cellular level. And then as well as the um, Renew 28 gel, you know, that's great for using on skin and just kind of soothing the muscles after every night. So it's a different type of, um, just frankly, different market for the products. I don't really think there really is anything else like that in the market that's kind of focused on recovery rather than just hydration of the other, all the other sugary sports drinks and stuff like that. Um, I've been using a CNL for nine years and it's the longest running product in my in my cabinet, like, because I've seen results for it with it for years. Um, I'm a sprinter. I swim the hundred meter and the 200 meter occasionally. Um, yet on a weekly basis, I swim well over 40 miles. Not now, not all of that is at a sprint effort, but swimming 40 miles a week, you know, you start off the week pretty fresh on Monday. And by the time you get to Friday with, you know, two swim workouts plus weights at the end of the week, you're usually pretty fatigued. And I noticed right out of the gate, the first year that I started taking you see it way back in the day that I was finishing my weeks stronger than I've ever finished before. Um, and that trend has continued. I'm pushing 30 now. And like last week, I went to lifetime in season best times and I was pounding a SIA. So uh, I would say that the reason that it's different from any other sports drink for me is because I've time and time again, seen results and I trust the product just, you know, from my own personal experiences, um, it's been, it's been well received and great. Well, I'm actually been racing as long as Cody's been alive. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, I've used a lot of sports drinks in my life. Um, a lot of Gatorade, a lot of camera gel. And to be honest with you, I can't race on that product, those products anymore. It's too much sugar, too much chemicals in there. And my body just can't react to it. And I think that before I got on a CEO, that was my problem is I had been on those products for so long that it was actually hurting my body than it was, you know, supporting my body. But I can tell you in the last uh, 10 years, the only thing that I've changed is taking a CEO. And I went from, you know, not winning races to winning 60 of the last 64. And I don't, 
I don't use sports drinks when I'm racing for the sprint and Olympic distance. I strictly use a SIA and water. That's all I take. And um, it works for me. I have to admit, I do take some salt tablets for the longer races so I don't cramp up. But I've tested this for 30 years and I've never, like Cody said, I've done this for thir over 30 years of racing, probably 35 years of racing. And by far, I see it is the, my game changer compared to, you know, Gatorade and all the other stuff. I'm not saying those products are bad, but I'm just saying if you've been racing that long, it takes a toll on your body to put that type of chemicals in your body year after year after year. And you have certainly put these molecules to the test, Mr. Sean Burke. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, as, as all of you, but, you know, I want to ask you guys, what, what really motivates you to be an ASEA athlete? Uh, maybe we could ask, uh, you know, uh, Michael, what, what, what motivated you to become an ASEA athlete? Kyle, the young <laughs> man that I push Aww. motivates me. That's... He's, um, he's the heart and the soul and I'm just the arms and the legs. He gets me through every race and uh, yeah, we're a team, team unstoppable. Awesome. Billy? Well, um, I'm, a, I'm a veteran having served, having served uh, four years in the Marine Corps and uh, three years in the Army. And um, I'm motivated to do, all, to do all the events I do. I carry the uh, American flag to honor you know, my fellow, um, my fellow uh, Marines and soldiers. And in addition to that, I just like to push the human lim you know, push the limits and see like just exactly how much I can handle you know, every, every week I get out there, it's just a new challenge. So, you know, everything from all the 100 mile races to the death race to, you know, uh, various, like I've done rates, races, jumping across States and everything. So, you know, I just like to see exactly what I, what I'm capable of. Awesome. And thank you so much for your service to our country. I appreciate that. No, thank you. Um, so for me, honestly, I started taking the product because my mom um, just kind of handed it to me when I was still playing hockey. And I noticed how much of a difference it made in my overall health. And I actually made the transition to CrossFit knowing how beaten up my body was. Um, and I saw how much ASEA was helping me. So I reached out to ASEA and I basically said like, I'm taking on this new sport and um, ASEA was like, we wanna take this journey with you. And that really motivated me that I had a company that was supporting my journey because I think a lot of times athletes have to make it to a certain point. And ASEA was like, no, like we really want you to grow with this product and represent us. And um, that just really motivated me and our values aligned. And it just, you know, it made me really happy that I got to represent ASEA in a sport that so many athletes could benefit from this um, technology. And Jesse, you were a good girl. You listened to your mother. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> what motivates me is the, at my age, being able to get out and play on a daily basis. Uh, <clears throat> the motivation is just the uh, the joy I get from competing and being able to do what I am able to do since I have been on ASEA, uh, it, it's, it's just motivating to me to be able to get up every day and feel the joy of uh, competing and uh, training. I, I, I love the training. It's kind of the journey that gets you to the celebration of race day. Absolutely. Excellent. So guys, we're going to just kind of wind this thing down with maybe something that might be a little more difficult, but what, what if I were to ask you to just, you know, put into one or two words, what ASEA means to each one of you? I know that's going to be tough, but just, just one or two words, what ASEA means to you. So for me, it's longevity performance. Me is recovery. Uh, one word, recovery. Can I do five, I think? Um, <laughs> recovery go. and clean drug tests. 
Mine is my competitive edge. Nice. Performance and recovery. I would say technological edge. Supportive and impactful. Um, maximizing potential. Excellent. You guys are awesome. Did we get everyone? Did we get, uh, did we get Michael? Yep, we got Michael. We got Okay. No, we're going to get Kendra. Kendra. Oh, Kendra. I knew we were missing somebody. Kendra? There we are. Um, I went. I think Billy. I'm sorry. I got, the order mixed, I got the order mixed up a little bit. I'm trying <laughs> to follow along on the email to see who goes next. <laughs> All right. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah, wellness and recovery. All right. You guys are awesome. Great, great words. Great words of wisdom. So, um, I am so honored to be here with all of you. And I just, I just want to wrap this thing up tonight, uh, which is giving maybe Michael and Bree a chance to maybe just share some inspiring words with us all. And maybe others who, uh, you know, are athletes, maybe again, just stepping in from the outside, taking a look in, you know, um, do you have any final words that you'd like to share with us? I'll go really quick. I think Michael's a really good closer. Um, but you know, this product is clean and I know, I know I can speak for me and Cody, at least that we've been taking it a long time and your reputation is everything in sport. It's your branding, it's your lifestyle. It's, it's the thing that helps you earn money to eat at night. Um, and knowing that you can completely trust the product you're taking gives you so much comfort and kind of that competitive edge. I did see a question in the, in the chat asking, why isn't every elite athlete on this? And that is a difficult question. And I think I kind of answered it earlier saying that there are a lot of products out there and a lot of fantastic products. ASEA is one of them. And that's the one that I chose. And that's the one that we chose because we trust it. It's clean. It's been proven through, through all, of all, all of us that it is. And when an athlete trusts and loves a product, they tend to stick with it. So it does get a little, a little hairy sometimes when you're trying to turn an athlete to a different product because you, you can't turn me. I'm, I have my product. I'm stuck with it. You know, I'm not leaving. Um, so you need to be sensitive when you're introducing it to other athletes. And maybe we don't want to share it because we don't want them to know about it. That's another thing. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, again, like we said before, it doesn't hurt to try. And if you guys are trying to turn one of your athletes onto the product, I would suggest that they look at the ingredient list and then check the banned substances. They're not going to find any banned substances on the ingredient list. And this is the only product that they make at the factory. So to me, it's, it's pretty bulletproof. Um, I absolutely love it. And it's made a lasting impact on me and my career and my family. Um, I take it, my younger sisters take it, my grandmother takes it. She doesn't look as good as Dexter. Don't tell her I said that. Um, Dexter looks amazing always. I love you, baby. And, uh, you know, I just really, really appreciate everyone that's been a part of this journey. Um, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone. On to you, Mike. Yeah, if you were to tell me, I don't know, 11, 12 years ago that I'd be in something like this involved with um, elite athletes, I would have told you you were out of your mind. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just speaking from the heart right now. What's coming to mind uh, in my heart is that uh, for many years, so I've trained pretty much my whole life since I was 15. And um, uh, cause I, I got bullied quite a bit, a lot. And that was my, my out was going into the basement and just training, training, training as a youngster. And it's interesting because uh, people would say, you know, older, older guys would say, ah, wait till you get to your mid twenties you know, and, and you start working and you're, you know, you're out of college and, you know, your body's just going to go to heck, you know, and, and you know, you're not going to have time to work out. Well, they would always say that. And I'd be like, no, no way. I'm never going to stop. 
And sure enough, I get into my mid twenties and then you got those guys in their thirties and they're saying, Hey, you know, wait till you get to your, you're in your thirties. You, you know, you're going to really get busy because you're going to get married. You're going to be settled down. You're going to have children and you know, you're not going to be able to, to work out. Look at me. You know, I used to be like this. I used to do that. And well, I got into my thirties and then the 40 year olds wait till you hit 40 because once you hit 40, it's all downhill from there. Right. Well, I'm 49 years old now. 50 year olds haven't said anything to me lately like that. Not negative anyway. But my point is, is that our choices um, affect everything that happens to us in our lives. And we all pretty much know what's, what the right thing to do is. We all know. And if people are trying to discourage you, whether it's in your ASEA business, or whether it's in you trying to become healthier, don't listen to those naysayers. Because here I am now, I'm with these elite athletes. I, I, I truly feel, I, I don't believe it. It's interesting, you know, it's like, I got to pinch myself sometimes to believe that, but you know what, it, it, I have worked hard, you know, and I put the time in and um, I encourage every, every one of you, um, Put some time in and go with what's right for you. You know what's right in here. You know what's right in here and move forward with that. And the little voice that you hear, I've heard this little voice, um, my little voice that's told me to go um, and reach out to a particular person. For example, for me, I reached out to a gentleman by the name of Dick Hoyt. Yeah, if you're, not, if you're not familiar with him, look him up. Um, he's, he was an amazing man. He recently passed. But if I didn't reach out to him, just as a generous offer, I gave him a business card. Um, he pushed his son, Rick, in Ironmans over 1,100 race events. Uh, if I hadn't listened to that voice, uh, and not giving him my business card, uh, he wouldn't have come into my shop. He came into my shop. His son just had spinal surgery. This is back in 2010 to do the Boston Marathon. He was in too much pain to use his regular chair. So he asked us, our company, to build him a wheelchair, something that we never done before, a race chair. And we did that, and it's transcended now. Um, to many people throughout the world, but if it wasn't for Dick Hoyt, I wouldn't have met Kyle, and we wouldn't have built a chair for him, and I wouldn't be doing races with him, and I wouldn't be here with the SIA. So I guess my point is, is just listen to the, the listen to your voice. Your voice knows what's right. Don't listen to the naysayers. There's a lot of things happening throughout the world now. You gotta sometimes you just gotta shut it off. And go with what's what's happening inside of your what's inside of you, your voice, and um, that's my message: is to just keep moving forward and stay positive and surround yourself with amazing people um, at all times. You won't regret it. I agree. Um, definitely agree with that, Mike. Just to kind of go off of that a little bit, understand too that if you are in love with this product, be confident in it. There are going to be naysayers and let them be naysayers. If they're not getting any of the benefits from the product, that's we want them. Um, I haven't allowed anyone to have me stray away from this product because I love it. Um, thank you so much for sharing that, Mike. That was really pretty. Such inspiring, heartfelt stories, you guys. I am just in awe. I am just so touched by each and every one of you who have shared here tonight and uh, can't tell you what it means to me and I'm sure all of our listeners out there. So I just want to thank you so much for your time, for being here tonight. Uh, I, I do want to you know, make sure that everyone understands that these statements, again, have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration and this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. But I also want to just 
you know, let everybody know who's maybe not a professional athlete out there that, you know, athletes are no different from other people as they age and we all do. And as the wear and tear on their bodies, just like our bodies increases, we are less efficient at producing these crucial redox signaling molecules that are native in our body. You know, they slow down production right at just after puberty. So our cells face damage every day from toxins that we take in through air, food, water, you know, EMFs, um, all those things, lack of sleep um, and even exercise, right? But a CS simply allows us to replenish our body's lacking supply and rebalance for a younger, healthier lifestyle. And I don't know about you guys, but I sure enjoy waking up every morning and feeling like I look younger, even though I'm a day older. And Mike, I'm about to be 60 in a couple months. So, hey, this is great. I got more muscle mass than I ever had, even when I was 50 and I owe it all to Asia. I love the fact that I can work out, burn fat the first minute instead of 30 to 40 minutes into an exercise. So. You guys give me hope and encouragement. Boy, we're going to keep this going. So thank you once again. Um, really appreciate you. And, you know, I just want to say, too, that the future belongs to those who see possibilities before they become obvious. You guys all obviously saw the possibility of ASEA and what it could do for you and so many others. So thank you again for picking up the charge, for carrying the torch and being our elite ASEA athletes. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time tonight. And appreciate all that you do. Good night, everybody. This is Gina Moran signing off. Have a wonderful evening.